Hey folks, Will Owen here with JetBoatPilot.com. On today's video, we're going to do the installation for a lateral thruster set on a twin-engine Yamaha boat. This process is really going to be the same for every twin-engine Yamaha ever made. Uh, these boats are pretty much the same, with the exception of some of the two-stroke versions from early on. Uh, they'll have a slightly different hardware, but the installation process is the same. Today we're installing on a 2018 Yamaha 210 FSH. This is a sport model. Uh, same process, just going to be a little bit different because of the way the boat goes in, but we'll go into that in just a moment. Before we get started, I want to point out a couple of things right off the bat. Uh, we're installing with thrust vectors installed today. You can do that. Just simply have you a chunk of 2x4 handy. What you'll do is you'll push the reverse bucket up, flip the thrust vectors up, and then put your 2x4 in place. It'll hold the fins up out of the way. Just makes your installation process easier if the fins are moved up. Uh, if you uh, are doing the installation at the same time, do the lateral thrusters first, and then do the thrust vectors second. Uh, makes it a little bit easier. Um, as we open the box up here, you'll notice right away the first thing you're going to see is going to be a uh, installation or excuse me, operation and safety information. This information is important. Make sure you read this. Make sure anyone operating the boat has read this. Furthermore, there's a sticker on the inside that we want you to affix near to your throttles. This basically tells you about safety information. There's a video link that shows you how to properly and uh, safely uh, operate the boat with the product installed. Also, your instructions are there for written instructions. You're going to have a set of lateral thrusters inside the bag for your starboard side, which we'll set aside for a moment. We're going to be installing on the port. And of course, your port side lateral thrusters. Inside the bag, you'll get a set of hardware. And notice that the hardware is designed for that side unit. So if it comes with a lateral thruster for the port side, the hardware fits the port. And also, if the lateral thruster is being installed, obviously, on the starboard side, that hardware matches the starboard. Uh, so uh, one more thing before we get going, I want to point out the tools going to need to use a 14 millimeter wrench. You'll need a 10 millimeter wrench. You'll need a 12 millimeter uh, socket wrench. And as well, I use a five millimeter speed handle. Now a five millimeter wrench comes with a kit, but I like to have this just to make things go a little faster. Uh, so let's jump right into it. First thing you're going to want to do is take your uh, reverse lever, your throttle lever, move those forward. That gets your bucket up out of the way. Makes the process a little bit easier if your reverse buckets are up. All right, on our first step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this main pivot bolt out of the bottom of the nozzle. You're gonna use a 12 millimeter socket for this. I've already done most of the hard work for you here just to save time, just so that you're aware. Once we pull this bolt out, there is something important to note here. We're gonna take this little stainless steel sleeve that comes off, we're gonna retain that. We will not reuse the bolt, we'll set that aside. We'll set this down for the moment. Also in the prep stage here, we'll go ahead and remove this back bolt here. Now again, I've already done most of the hard work. I've busted that loose, that's a 14 millimeter wrench. And I want you to notice as I'm pulling this bolt out here, it's pretty long. And on the back side, you have a nut. Now on these new 2018 models, you'll see on the FSH, the nut comes off and that's what this threads into. On older models or other style, uh, you're going to put this bolt through into a housing and this nut won't be there. Just notate, you, you don't want to lose this nut. This is what your threads go into, so bear that in mind. All right, so we've got the prep stage taken care of now. I want to open up our product here. And inside the packaging, like I said, you've got a set of brackets and you've also got some mount hardware. I want to take this bracket, which if you look at it on the boat, if it's aligned, notice how it sways inboard. That tells me this is a port side unit. Um, that's the one you, you, know, you can identify it that way in case the hardware got crossed up in the uh, packaging process. So just pay that uh, some attention, make sure that you are installing this bracket that sways to the inboard. We'll disassemble this and we'll talk about this hardware in a moment. We want to take the main mount bolt we just pulled out of the jet pump and thread that back through like this. And I want to take some of the Loctite that came with the kit and I want to, in this step, go ahead and put some Loctite on the threads for this main mount bolt. This is important. You don't want this thing coming loose. So we'll go ahead and add some Loctite out there on the tip. I want to make sure it's out here on the edge and I want to be pretty generous with it because I don't want this coming off. All right, so now we have this ready to go in. We'll take our nut, go back into the hole here, and we're gonna thread this all the way through and go all the way to the back side here. There is a little recess for that nut to slide into so that it does not turn. And we will tighten this down almost completely tight. You don't wanna completely torque this down just yet because we want the um, uh, bracket to be able to move freely during the installation process, we'll actually tighten this bolt last. You want to do do want to go ahead and tighten 
uh, as much as you can because this process later on is a little tight, a little crowded. So you don't want to leave yourself a lot of work, but this is probably about right here. Just so there's just a little movement. All right. Now the next step we're going to do, we're going to take the lateral thruster unit, of course the port side, discharging out the left hand side of the boat. We're going to take the main mount bolt, which comes with two washers. We're going to insert one washer underneath the bottom side and it's going to go into this pocket here. Once we've slid that through, we're going to put the other washer on top. And that little sleeve that we pulled out of the boat earlier, we're going to put that on top here. And the last step, we're going to put a few dabs of Loctite here just to make sure that we've got some thread locker on these threads, just to be safe. Now we're ready to go up inside the nozzle. I want you to notate this notch here. The notch gets aligned with a bearing on the bottom side of the jet pump. You can see that there. We're going to go ahead and move this up. And I also want you to pay attention to this stainless steel spacer. Once I get this up into the pivot point of the nozzle, I want to make sure that spacer passes all the way through the pivot point. seated. We've got a bite there. That's good. We'll take our five millimeter Allen wrench. I don't want to tighten this just yet, but I do want to get it where it is at least 90% of the way there because I want to put on my last bit of hardware and then we will take and tighten everything down. That's about right right there. All right. A new feature on this particular video we want to point out. There's a black spacer that we've introduced to separate the aluminum and the stainless steel part here to give us a little bit of a separation so we don't create a dissimilar metal corrosion as well as it helps us eliminate some of this gap between the two parts. We'll slide the 5 millimeter. Uh, this will be a 35 millimeter long with a 5 millimeter Allen head screwed through the top here and then we're going to pass the uh, plastic spacer that way and then finally we'll pass it through the bottom of the pump and I'm going to take my Ny uh, nylock here and we'll finish it off like that. So we'll tighten this down making sure that you can press the spacer in between the top and bottom. Once we've got that done we'll go ahead and take our 5mm Allen wrench here. Go ahead and torque this guy down here. Roughly 10 foot pounds of torque is what we've uh, seen as a recommended torque value. Just want to make sure that you're good and tight and uh, you don't have to necessarily have to have a torque wrench, but just seat it good and, and don't over torque it. It's the big thing because those threads are made out of aluminum and you don't want to pull those threads out. All right, and the last step here, if you'll follow me, we've got the 14 millimeter now. We're going to go ahead and move to the back and we're going to torque down this main bolt here uh, to make sure that it's about the same torque that when you, when you remove it. So again, I don't have a torque value for that, but just torque it good and tight. I don't think you're going to hurt it by giving it a lot of force because it is steel that you're threading it into. There we go. All right, so a couple of checks that you want to do. Now we have all the hardware securely fastened. You want to make sure that the part feels like it's good and solid connected to the pump. You want to make sure that the nozzle itself is able to move freely. You want to pivot the nozzle left and right. Just make sure there's no binding. And that pretty well wraps up the lateral thruster installation. This will be the same process uh, on the starboard side as it is on the port. So uh, if you have any questions, obviously just reach out to us and we'll give you more details. Uh, for more information about lateral thrusters, visit us at jetboatpilot.com. You can also reach out to us through social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, our YouTube account. Uh, there's a contact us page on the, uh, uh, on the website. If you need to send us an email or whatever, of course you can call us anytime. We appreciate you watching this video today and we hope it's been helpful for you. Thanks. Have a great day.